And it wasn't baseball weather today, but it felt more like football weather, although we're going to get back to more of a baseball feel into next week with temperatures starting to warm on up. This is a 6 to 10 day forecast. This would go from August 27th to August 31st and a big signal for warmer than average conditions with a lot of red on the map for the eastern half of the country. How about precipitation? You can see some of that behind me. Well, in terms of the shower threat over the next 6 to 10 days, we're not seeing a big signal of wetter or drier than average conditions, just pretty close to average. But over the next several days, that threat looks pretty minimal. We'll take a look outside right now at the radar where we're seeing a few showers actually streaming across portions of nor uh, southern Essex County getting into southern Warren County. So if you're near the Scroon Lake area, maybe seeing a few showers and a, maybe a downpour right around there. Similar story, Hamilton and portions of Herkimer County. But as we zoom out, there's not much going on elsewhere. A few showers earlier and some downpours, Washington, Bennington, Berkshire County, but all of that seems to have pivoted off towards the east. And for the most part, we're drying out locally and will continue to overnight tonight. Again, zooming in on some of those showers still lingering. Manchester, Vermont and Bennington County, Florida, Massachusetts, a light little shower there. It's part of this broad upper level circulation which is leading to cooler than average temperatures over the northeast, above average temperatures off towards the southwest. Well, the below average air, the peak of it is overhead today. It's now going to start shifting off towards the east, and we will start warming on up in a big fashion over the next several days. But right now, wow, it's 54 degrees in Oneonta, 52 Saranac Lake, 62 Albany, 68 Poughkeepsie. That's the warmest in the local area right now, and 58 degrees in Utica. What's so impressive is dew points in the upper 40s to low 50s is very uncommon around here in August. It is extremely rare to see that in places like Charleston, West Virginia, 52 dew point in Raleigh, 49 Nashville. So feeling super refreshing over the eastern half of the country. And this will continue for a few more days. Even as temperatures warm up, the humidity increase will lag a bit. So tonight, upper 40s to low 50s, we'll say mid 50s across uh, the capital region, it's upper 40s in the outlying areas. So a windows open night once again. A few showers may linger overnight tonight, largely off towards the north locally. We should continue to be dry. Into the day tomorrow, slight improvement in terms of the cloud coverage. So I think we see more sun and correspondingly warmer temperatures. A lot more of us cracking into the 70s with just a very stray chance of a shower. Better threat would be off towards the north and east. Tomorrow night is mostly clear and comfortable once again. So tomorrow, stray shower, 70 to 75 degrees by Friday. What a splendid day 75 to 80 degrees lots of sun low humidity and on Saturday another great day the Traverse is on Saturday and weather should be terrific for that warmer a lot of sun upper 70s to low 80s so tonight 49 to 54 degrees partly clear more clouds especially off towards the north tomorrow it is 70 to 75 degrees mix of sun and clouds still a bit breezy but overall warmer feel just a very slim chance of a shower tomorrow night 50 to 55 degrees, mostly clear, cool. Watch out for a little bit of patchy fog developing late, especially if you see some of those showers earlier on in the day. And then Friday, again, you can't beat Friday, 75 to 80 degrees, a top 10 day. And another really nice day on Saturday, and another really nice day on Sunday. Weekend should be great. Next week, humidity starts to rise, and correspondingly, we'll bring up those shower chances. Just a drop, but overall, it looks like a dry start to the week. Temperatures back to feeling like August, mid-80s by day, mid-60s by night.